Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick and Run Oven Break, where I didn't expect to make this sort of video, but I had to do it because of a certain mission that I need to complete. What do I mean? Well, I don't know when this video is going to be released, but I may as well let you peek behind the curtain just so you can get a good understanding of it. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of a mission here called Splashing Festival, which basically means you got to do a bunch of missions here just so you can get some rainbow cubes and try and get costumes. However, one of the missions is receive breakout weekly reward one time. So I'm just like, okay, sure. I got to run with a few cookies just so I can run in the breakout. So I go ahead and check breakout. What's the soonest one that I can run in? Oh, weekly reward for the USKV oven. That's only in 16 hours. So I just have to go ahead and meet that, right? Well, I go ahead and look at the commune cookies that I decide to run with, and uh, I think in the video I actually decide to run once in the uh, the video, obviously with my cyber cookie score. But as you can see, you can uh, can you see my yeah? This is so this is my entire commune. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, I mean everyone's got like treasures. They got their full magic candies and hands. Everyone's all. Fu Wait a minute, something's missing from marshmallow cookie. If you take a close look, you may have noticed that marshmallow cookie does not have a magic candy. I'm sorry, but that's not going to fly with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Marshmallow Cookie's trial. I'm going to go run in Marshmallow Cookie's trial. I'm going to describe what her story is like, and I'm going to be doing two separate ones. Uh, it's two separate runs. One run, making sure that I run just without her magic candy at all, just so we can test out how she is and, and just a basic level. And two, I'm going to do a second run where I run with the magic candy fully enhanced so I can make sure that I scrap this uh, cookie off my... Uh, off my list of many cookies who I haven't ran with, nor cookies do I have a diamond rank with. As you can see, I haven't ran in this cookie trial one time. So what we're going to be doing, as I mentioned, run once without the magic candy, run again with a magic candy, then see if we can get diamond rank. So you may be wondering who even is Marshmallow Cookie? Well, that's what I'm curious about too. So let's go ahead and take a gander at this, which by the way, before this video started, I actually completed a surprise bear mission, which gave me uh, uh, basically a good amount of magic candy ingredients. Like she looked, now I actually have 22 there, which actually saves me a good amount of magic power to spend. So with that being said, let's go ahead and read up on Marshmallow Cookie's story to get some lore inside of her. It says here, a boisterous loud parade follows Marshmallow Cookie wherever she goes. As soon as her squishy Marshmallow Shacko appears in town, crowds of curious cookies come out to, sound, to the sounds of her honey Marshmallow Trumpet. Marshmallow Cookie and her well-schooled uh, sugar guards once performed together with Macaroon Cookie's parade team, but something didn't work out. Yeah, if you don't know, I, I don't know if... Uh, Macaroon Cookie and Marshmallow Cookie have a good relationship. We can actually do a quick check just in case. Uh, yeah, it's a rival. No, no, you're going too slow. And then I remember because uh, Macaroon's like, no, no, you're going too fast. Mm, you can see the rivalry just stem from that. But according to her skill, it says instrument jellies appear at given intervals. Collect an instrument jelly to summon a sugar guard. When you gather three sugar guards, the parade gauge, uh, or the gauge... I think gauge, I don't know. The parade gauge begins to fill up. When the gauge is full, the parade begins. During the parade, the sugar guards go forward and create march jellies. Level up for more points for march jellies. So she just makes her whole entire parade all by herself, which is pretty proud. And by proud, I mean just proud of her. Now next we have the pet being Discordion. Uh, oh, I get it, because it's accordion, but it's Discord. So it causes chaos. That's kind of scary. But according to the story of this little fella, it says, A new and very eager member of Marshmallow Cookie's parade. Unfortunately, its performance skills can't catch up with its eagerness just yet. Bear with it. So, it's got some training. It, it has a little bit of learning to do. But you know what? We're just going to have to cope with it anyway. It doesn't matter. But according to the skill of this little fella, it says, Creates blue, yellow, and red Discord jellies at certain intervals. Blue Discord jellies grant a great number of points. Yellow Discord jellies grant coins. Red Discord jellies restore some energy. Level of more energy restored for red Discord jellies and more points for all types of Discord jellies. So, the higher you have the, uh, the, higher you have the pet leveled up, not only do you get more points in general, but the red Discord jellies that get you more of a little bit of a boost in energy will also help you as well. Now, of course, if you're wondering, she does have an associated treasure being the rainbow headphones, which is associated with both DJ Cookie, my favorite, and also Marshmallow Cookie, which maybe he probably needs that just to cover up how loud the trumpet is. Which, according to the story of this thing, it says, Introducing new limited edition rainbow headphones. Prepare to experience a richer, warmer, and more vibrant sound of superb clarity. I would buy a pair of these. I'm not even joking. I would wear them all the time. And according to the skill, it says, Mini star jellies of three colors appear at given intervals. Collect all three kinds of mini star jellies for bonus points. Level up more frequent mini star jelly creation and more points for mini star jellies. So it just makes all those multicolored... Man, the pets call them multicolored jellies and now the treasures call them multicolored jellies. That's pretty fresh if I do say so myself. Uh, does it diamond ring? Let us... It doesn't have us equip it? That's kind of a shocker. But you know what? Just... Wait, actually, let me check ranking. Maybe. 
Uh, my gosh, it's all just the new treasure. Well, whatever in case, I'm actually going to go ahead and equip the associated treasure in replacement for the claw. Because I at least want to show it off at the very least. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the show on the road. Literally, let's get this marshmallow trumpet. Let's get it start. Let's start tooting. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't break the rhythm. And I barely ran with marshmallow kicky, but uh, I think I understand the gist. You just got to go ahead and just like level yourself by collecting all this. And, okay, it's a rather short skill, but you know what? Oh, this is the Christmas remix of this song, which I'm pretty sure this, uh, I, what song? This sounds familiar. Like, of course I've heard of it before. I'm just trying to remember what level it's played in. But I definitely have heard this before, and this is actually a Christmas remake of it, because you can actually hear some, like, you know, more gentle, like, dings and stuff like that. You remember something like bows or something. Well, also, I will say I definitely do not expect myself to get diamond rank on this run, first of all. Like, it does say that, like, my cookie is over the level. I'm pretty sure it said, like, you need a level 6 cookie and a level 7 pet. However, my cookie is level 9, I think, and the pet's level 10? I think, as far as my knowledge goes. However, that magic candy also said it had to be level 4. And I don't even have the magic candy. I know for a fact that magic candy is probably going to help us a good amount. I'll actually be, I'll be honestly shocked if I manage to get the uh, diamond rank here without the uses of a magic candy. But whatever, we're just going to go ahead and just keep on sticking around. This is one of the more simple trials, but I still have to do it anyway because I need those sweet, fresh trial star candies. And I need to try and focus more on that, but then again, with all the events that's being released in Kiki Run, I can't get down. <laughs> with all the events that's been uh, being released in Kiki Run, all the game modes and stuff, it's kind of hard to focus on all that. And I do want to try and get every single diamond rank in the game. Yeah, so I can also get, and like, rainbow rank... Po probably possible the thing is the really hard ones to try and get done are honestly the ones in regards to the legendary cookies because trying to, it's usually to get those you need to have their magic candy at a good level and let's just say that is not cheap it's definitely not cheap at all trying to upgrade a legendary cookies magic candy it takes so much time it takes so much like g a gathering for trying to get the materials oh and don't even get me started on trying uh, on the money you might want to spend for the plumbing uh, magic candy stuff because that is awful and just being 100% dead clear, like, if there's one thing that's going to most likely sap you out of your money in this game, it's most likely the magic candy ingredients. Now, I want to say maybe it's been easier ever since the surprise bear sting, like, they can provide, like, magic candy ingredients, especially the legendary variants. But I'm just saying for what it is still, which, by the way, I really like when you, uh, well, let me just finish that thought first. Like, it still takes so long and so much, it's so much effort. We did hit the bonus time, though, so that is pretty good. I'm still, uh, and by the time I'm recording this, I am don't know when this is, oh, oh that's kind of bad. I'm missing so many magnets. That's actually really bad for me. Sheesh, that was not my best attempt at that. Definitely try and go for the magnet instead of getting for both, because uh, if you just get the magnet, it automatically collects both, so it doesn't matter. I did reach Emerald Rank, which is actually pretty good, but I still don't think that's enough. Like, of course, it's no, like, skill issue from my behalf, because I definitely am overleveled for this. But it's all about just, you know, the magic candy. I don't have it maxed out, but I want to show you how much of a difference it can make. Oh my gosh, those are, those are dangerous. Who keeps those around, like, in your Christmas house? What are you trying to do? Literally capture... What if Santa Claus comes in? He steps on one of those bear traps. What are you trying to do? That's, like, that's evil. Like, even if it was just for, like, your family. Like, a burglar or something like that. What do you think this is? Home Alone? Like, yeah, let me just place a bunch of bear traps down. Now, now the burglar... Oh, I missed the potion. Now the burglars won't be able to get in. Yeah, good job. Now you probably most likely just let your little brother, who is trying to peek too closely at his presence in the middle of the night, just get, get his whole entire foot ripped off. You probably kidding me? By the way, yeah, I'm about to run out of energy. I don't think I have anything else that can preserve my energy. Did I just toot weirdly right when I fainted? I could have swore when I thought when I fainted, it was like <laughs> that's a different sound if that's the case, which is pretty unique. But hey, look at that surprise bear. Alright, so now let's go ahead and make this magic candy worth our while. Nice, really good. And then go over here and look at that. Bam. Uh again. Uh so I think I'll go with like 20. Maybe that might be enough. Or at least close. Three, four. Five. Okay, so it was a little bit over enough, and that marshmallow magic candy actually looks really tasty. Like, look, it's just pink and, like, white swirls. Like, it's nothing too chaotic. It doesn't have any accessories. It's just a straight-up marshmallow magic candy. And, of course, I'm going to apply a blessing to it because I know it's not going to affect the cookie trials, but this is still worth it if I'm going to be running in, like, the breakout. All jellies? That sounds about right. But then again, frozen bear jellies? Mm, I'll take the all jellies for now. And according to the skill of the magic candy, it says, During the parade, sugar guards create extra mighty march jellies. The stronger the enchanted power, the more points for mighty march jellies. 
Okay, so it just gives you even more points for Mighty March Jelly. Okay, and I do have a super epic costume for this, which I could wear, but I'm just trying to get this costume d done uh, in vanilla. So I guess if we're going to really try and crank this out, I'm just going to use the recommended combi for Diamond Rank. Unfortunately, getting rid of the headphones. And uh, yeah, let's finally get this just so I can go ahead and run in that breakout because I know for a fact I need to complete that. And there's also a few other videos that I need to complete because to be fair, I completed a solid amount of videos today, which I am impressed by myself with. Like probably one of my highest... Uh, highest video count so far like just done in one day kind of a world record for my behalf and this is just for oven break videos just so i can be cleared of like the whole entire week so i can work on other things but yeah, it's whatever it's basically part of the job uh but let, let's just get this cranked let's just crank keep on cranking and let's just see how far we can get here which uh somehow i got hit right there even though i definitely slid under that so, plug it, game. Thank you. I guess I'll just take that and take it to the bank with me, and then most likely get arrested for fraud. Sheesh, I swear, the nerve of this game. If I get hit, I'm definitely restarting. I'm just saying that for a fact. Oh, that was a tight jump. That was kind of scary. I didn't mean to insult you, game. I'm just kind of being salty, you know? Even if I do get hit, but it's, like, wasting my... Like, I get hit, and uh, it doesn't, like, make me lose energy. It just makes me waste my uh, motor shield. I, it just kind of makes me weary, you know? See, look, we got the motor shield back, so now I don't have to be a salty piece of mess. Or a salty mess. Salty piece of... It, it doesn't matter. I'm salted. Let's just go ahead and get this done. I gotta go ahead and post something in around, like, 20-ish minutes, which, honestly, after this video, uh, I'm probably just gonna, like, post something quick and then, like, set it to schedule. Uh, it'll be a funny community post, uh, which, if you want to know how, like, it's a separating date, something. I think today is April 6th? It's either April 5th or April 6th. But whatever the case is, I'm going to be posting like, hey, what was your favorite Kick Your End Kingdom uh, April Fool's event? And it's either going to be uh, the uh, Shroomy Shenanigans, it's either going to be Romance Kingdom, or it's going to be Operation Oven Break. Because if you want my personal opinion, I think the April Fool's event that I love the most was actually Romance Kingdom. I only just because like I feel like people aren't going to really appreciate Operation Oven Break because it didn't feel it, it felt like out of everything it had the least amount of content. Though then again, I appreciate sure the reason why they did that was because it was meant to, it was meant to be like an unfair like bad game if that makes sense. But I just think uh, Roman's Kingdom had a lot more to introduce than... Uh, ooh, that was close. A lot more to introduce than comparison to both Shumu Shenanigans and also Operation Oven Break. Like, for example, like, Romance Kingdom that had so many different types of endings and it had basically everyone's dream of trying to date a cookie. <laughs> Which, yeah, everyone just really wants to do that. Uh, be sure to peep my plumbing how to smash a cookie short. That'd be fantastic. Uh, okay, this time I'm actually getting the magnets. Yeah, collect everything and get those Rainbow River Jellies. Nice. This is way better than before. Look at that huge streak right there. Already going amazingly. Frozen. Big, big, big. Big, big, big. <laughs> Being chilly. <laughs> okay, we definitely got to be on route to getting Diamond Rank right now. We're close to Ruby, so hopefully it should be too far now. I'm praying. Uh, but anyway, I think I was saying something before, but then I completely forgot about it because I think I was focused on the bonus time, you know? Uh, I think I had something to do with making videos, but whatever. It's just an ordinary day for me. Let's just go ahead and keep on going. Honestly, these cookies, I wish I could have done more trial videos for, but like I mentioned before, you know, with all the events coming out, it's hard to, like, focus on one thing when uh, the new event that's being focused on really gets together. Oh, yeah, and also, like, for the April Fool's stuff, like, I do genuinely... Oh, yeah, we got Diamond. Why was the separation between, like... Well, I, I still didn't... I did not get the... Po I'm mad. <laughs> Why was the uh, separation between Ruby 1 and Diamond, like, so short? It just kind of felt like it. I don't know, maybe I'm just hallucinating. But whatever, at least we got it anyway, so... Now I can fully utilize the magic candy for marshmallows, so I don't have to be a big mess up about that again. Yeah, I could have sworn that did like a weird toot noise. All right, whatever. We've got it anyway, and I'm happy about that. So now we can end this video off nice and peacefully. And I got sold out concerts, reach diamond rank, and all the corresponding cookie trial regions. Oh, you better believe that I actually am going to go ahead and check that out. But I do want to collect my plumbing surprise bear mission first, because I got to do so many of those for another event. Uh, the same event that you saw at the beginning. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back real quick. I'm going to open up that Earth symbol. Hopefully, it should be showing me the loot. Ah, look at that. Look at all those party members. Shining glitter, popping candy, marshmallow, mint choco, macaroon. Everyone's happy right there. A sold-out concert. You know, that'd be a good concert to be, like, sold out to. That's pretty good. Oh, and also, since I'm at uh, Marshmallow Kiki's Trial, I got Diamond Rank. I can now collect all this stuff. Gems for days and also an extra 1,500 crystals. We are so close to 900 Trial Star Candies. Slowly but surely, I'm going to see if I can make that my goal. It's going to be so cool. 
But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick-to-run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you will see links to all of my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kick-to-run YouTube stuff for absolutely free. You'll see a link to my Discord server called the Hike Knees Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you and the Guardians in the next video. Hello, hype news.